Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Message 124. Message 124. Hallelujah. Praise God the Father, our Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Praise God the Son, the Son of God, Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the risen Lord and Savior, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Praise God the Holy Spirit, our Counselor, our Comforter, our Helper, our Teacher. Thank you. Let's pray. Oh, Lord, I thank you for my little grandson I'm looking at. I thank you, oh, Lord God, for, for you, oh, Lord God, that you give us uh, through your sacrifice for us, Jesus, on the cross and your resurrection. You'll give us eternal life with you now and forever. We praise you. And, Lord, you enjoy the praise of us, Lord God. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8, 10 in part says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. So, Lord, help us to even rejoice in you and to see the truth in your word. Lord, it gives us life and hope. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. And, lo, oh, oh, Psalms 107. Psalms 107, verses 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. Psalms 107 verses 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. He has redeemed us from death. And we share from Proverbs 24, 11. 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Rescue those, Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And we help people uh, to do that by sharing the gospel message, God's word, to him, to people. And I wanted to share, actually, March, uh, March 3rd today. So we read Proverbs 3 today, right? And great scriptures in Proverbs 3. And this was a memory verse from my mother and I for many years. And now she's, uh, she's seeing the Lord <laughs> and Savior who she trusted in for so many years on earth. Now she's seeing in heaven. Uh, her trust was worth it because she's with her Lord and Savior. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 8. I like to... to to say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Let's pray. God, uh, May we not lean on our own understanding. There's so many things we don't understand why they happen, Lord. But thankfully, Lord God, that you are in control of this universe, Lord. For some reason, you will allow uh, things that hurt us so much to happen in our life. But Lord God, you're working in our life, Lord God, for our benefit and somehow, Lord. And may we always trust you and not doubt you, Lord God, that you are working even in the hard and the bad situations in life, Lord, 
to help us, Lord God, to go through that, to go through it with us. Even when death, Lord, comes upon our loved ones, Lord, you provide a way for them to go into your presence and to escape uh, the death of the body and deliver their soul, who they are, into your presence, O oh Lord God. And we know, Jesus, when you come again, you will even give our soul a new body, a body like yours, to enjoy your presence with you, Lord, that someday you will wipe away every tear and every pain when we come into your presence, Lord. And then we will experience your love and blessings for eternity. We thank you in your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. And I've got written down here uh, also, well, I don't have written down. God has written down his word <laughs> in Proverbs uh, in chapter 3, verses uh, 19 through 22. Proverbs 3, 19 through 22. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep a sound wisdom and discretion, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. And uh, what he's talking about, these words from God. Uh, the Lord verses... Uh, I'm going to go up to verse 18, Proverbs 3. Uh, she is a tree of life. i got to go back farther. All right, what are we going to go back farther to? Uh, go back to verse 13. Blessed is the one who, who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. For the gain from her is better than, than gain from silver, and her profit better better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her, the wisdom of God. Long life is in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. Verse 17, her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. Verse 19, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, my daughter would be also, my son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Verse 23, then you will walk on your way securely, and your foot will not stumble. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Oh, Lord, thank you. Lord God, we thank you that uh, you are our shepherd 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you remind us that in the, the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. <laughs> he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overfloweth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We thank you for the 23rd Psalm. Thank you for making us your sheep, O oh Lord God, and watching over us all day long, all night long, seven days a week, every day. For we are your sheep, O oh Lord. You are our Lord, our Master, our Savior. 
And uh, I was talking about uh, in the last message that the Lord inhabits the praise of his people. And uh, I actually couldn't find where that was in the Bible. Uh, I was looking in my Strong's Concordance and didn't find it. But then a, a friend of uh, my wife and I, Diane, she gave me a book for Christmas. And I started reading it. And it's this book here. It's uh, by Sarah. It says by, I don't know if you can read. Can you see this? The darkness. I, I can't even see. There we go. We got something lit here. Jesus, Jesus Calling, Sarah Young. All right, Devotions for Every Day of the Year, written by Sarah Young, Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence. And it, uh, I've got, uh, let's see, published by Thomas Nelson. And I don't know how old this was written, started, because I've got some information that says Sarah, I mean Young, Sarah, 1946. But then I've got a copyright of Jesus Calling, 2004, by Sarah Young. And it published in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, by Thomas Nelson. All right. So I was reading this, and, and uh, it came upon that this was a reading for actually January 7th. All right. And it's got, uh, it actually is a unique way of, 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 of uh, I say, saying God's word. Talking to us as, as though God was talking directly to us. And it uses God's word to show that. And, okay, January 7th. It is impossible to praise or thank me too much. Okay, this is supposedly what God is saying. Uh... And in ways, this would be a, uh, a paraphrase of what God's Word actually does say, I believe. Okay? It is impossible to praise or thank me too much. As it is written, I inhabit the praises of my people. Okay? <laughs> I was looking for that. And uh, finally I saw in here. And I, I connected it with Psalms 22.3. Because, uh, let me go to 22.3. Psalms 22.3, if I can get this. <laughs> did, did, I pray the, did I even play the Bible? I didn't even pray this. Play this. Hallelujah, I don't think. <laughs> Got my guitar here holding me up here. Well, Psalms 22 is, is David, written by the prophet David, approximately 1,000 years before the crucifixion of Jesus, and he's actually foretelling the crucifixion of Jesus in this psalm, right? Right, my grandson? And what does he say here? It starts out, Psalms 22. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. All right, why do I go to Proverbs? I'm supposed to be going to Psalms. Psalms is before. It's not a dictionary. i got to remember this Bible. Remember the placement of uh, Psalms before Proverbs. All right, Proverbs. Psalms 22. Hallelujah! Praise God the Father. And this is what Psalms 22 has got in it. It's got these words here that show so much that it's, it's foretelling the crucifixion of Jesus. It says, For dogs encompassed, for dogs encompassed me, encamp, encompassed me. A company of evildoers encircled me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. It's a, it's a picture of the crucifixion, the nails going through the hands of Jesus and his feet. Uh, and also around the crucifixion, there were people mocking Jesus. And this is verse 7 of, of Psalm 22. All who see me mock me. They, they make mouths at me. They wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord. This is what people said to Jesus when he was on the cross. He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him. For he delights in him. Uh, here's another mock. Here's another uh, words that foretell the scriptures. They divided my garments among them. And for my clothing they cast lots. And this is how Psalm 22 starts. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? And Jesus said that on the cross. 
And this is the first words in this psalm. And you keep going down. Why did Jesus say that? Be my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Because Jesus be on that cross became sin for us. And God had to turn his back away from sin and punish sin with death because that's what Jesus did. He took our place on the cross. He died for our sins. He paid the penalty for our sin on the cross. So the Father, God, had to uh, turn away from him. He had, we had to, to, to have his wrath fall upon him. It would be better to say it that way. The wrath of the Father fell upon the Son, Jesus, who bore our sins on the cross. For the wrath came upon Jesus for the wrath of for the, for our sins. He bore the wrath we deserved. So 22, 1 goes on. Uh, <laughs> Proverbs 22, 1, 2, and 3. Not Proverbs 20, I'm sorry. Psalms 22. Psalms 22. I'll, I'll relax here. <laughs> oh, my grandson. Hey, we're almost done here. Praise the Lord. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet, yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Another way of saying that, as it's written in this book by Sarah Young, I inhabit the praises of my people. And here's Psalm 22, verse 3. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. Let's pray. Lord, you're enthroned on the praises of Israel. Uh, referring to those God you save because of those in Israel who believed in you Jesus as Lord and Savior you you inhabit you're there I believe enjoying his praise your the praise of you so we thank you may we always praise you Lord for the joy of the Lord is our strength and it's 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 your joy oh lord god we thank you and praise you in jesus your name amen thank you for being with me god bless you bye bye god. yes i'm coming grandson i'm coming hallelujah hallelujah i held this guitar in front of me all the time i didn't play it i don't i don't believe hallelujah for being with me. God has blessed us. Amen.